What is going on, tree lovers of America? I am Mr. Elsie. And I am Senor Albo. And we are here to deliver you. And that's yes. Maisie behind me. Yes, Maisie. She's probably going to be back there. She doesn't really care about trees. She likes to smell them sometimes. Anyway, we are here to deliver you a new show where we are going to give you details. Senor Arbol, do you know what details means? Details? Yeah. Details, yes. Details are detalles. Oh, that's how you say it in Espanol? Si, yes. Okay. Details, detalles, but we are going to give details about trees. And we're going to call it Tree Details. Tree Details! I love that, Mr. Elsie. You know what I'd love even more? If we made it shorter. Instead of Tree Details, let's make up a word. We are going to bring you Tree Tales. Tree Tales! Yes, Tree Tales! Okay. So, Senor Arbol, normally when you visit me, you bring me something. Did oh, you bring me anything today? Of course, Mr. Elsie. I brought you something. But my hands are too small. Is it this? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. That's the plant that I brought you earlier. Oh, this is something very heavy. I had to ask someone on the street to help me put it inside. It's, it's underneath there. Under here, okay. Under, yes. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Is this? Uh, oh, yes, Mr. Elsie. That. Big book? It's a big book. You want me to read this whole thing? Yes, um, I put some um, mark there. Oh, you a can bookmark. See. Okay. A bookmark. So yes. I should turn to where the bookmark is? Yes, please. Okay, okay. Interesting. So do you think this tree might be the first tree that we're going to give details about? Yes, the sugar maple. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. This is the sugar maple tree. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, when I hear maple, I think of like maple syrup. Have you ever had that, Senor Arbol? Mm, yes. I, uh, well, a little bit, yes. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> Just a little bit? Do you put it on flies? On flies, I'd love to do that. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna read to find out some about sugar maple trees, and then maybe you could help me, and if we find a good detail, oh, I have another supply. We'll make some notes about it, okay? So, do you want to hold the book or do you want me to hold the book? I don't think I can hold it. Mr. Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. So, sugar maple tree. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, this is the sugar maple tree. It needs some water. And Senor Arbo, will you finish that page? It needs some sun. Okay, so some water, some sun. Okay, let's see what, oh, this page at the bottom must be talking about animals. Oh, do you already see some animals that might like this tree? The deers, the squirrel. Squirrel, yeah. Un alce. Oh, a moose? See. Si. Okay, let's see what the text says. Okay, here I go. Some animals depend on the sugar maple tree for food. Let's see. It says, some squirrels eat nuts, twigs, buds, and leaves from the tree. Huh. You know, I thought squirrels only ate nuts. Hmm. But they eat more than that? Some deer eat leaves from the tree. Okay, so the deer are just eating the leaves right there. Will you tell us about the moose? So moose eat leaves and twigs from the tree. Okay, so that sugar maple tree is feeding a lot of animals. Interesting facts. I love interesting facts. Okay. Actually, I'm not even going to show you, Senor Rubble. I'm going to see if I can surprise you. Ready? All right. I'm ready, Mr. Elsie. Okay. Tell me if you already knew it or it's new information. Okay? Okay. Okay. The sap from a sugar maple tree is used to make syrup. I knew that, Mr. Elsie. Oh yeah, we were already talking about that, weren't we? Okay, but that's still a cool fact, right? Um, okay, oh, how about this? How about this? The leaves turn bright red, orange, and yellow in the fall. Wow. I bet that is just beautiful. Yes, I think I didn't know about that. 
well, we'll have to look when it's fall again. Maybe you and me could go on a walk and see if we can find some. Oh, Mr. Elsie, please. Oh, yes, let's do it. Okay, one more fact. I'm going to see if you can guess this one. Hmm. The wood of the sugar maple tree is very hard. So, it's good for... To build a house? <gasps> That's exactly what it says. Not house. But it does say... It is good for building, so that could mean a lot of things. Houses. Furniture. That's right. So let me make some notes. Okay. So when it's not fall, the leaves are green. So I'm going to write green. It looks backwards on the video, but I'm writing it in the reading direction. Green leaves turn red. Okay, Senor Arbol, something is happening in my brain right now. What is happening? Do you know when I learn new things, my favorite thing to do is make up songs? Ah, Mr. Elsie, I know, and I love that. Can I sing you my new canción? Por favor, please. Song in Spanish is canción. And so he just said, please, can I sing it? And I would love to sing it. Okay, I'm just making it up right now, but this is what I have so far. Sugar maple, Sugar maple tree. Maple tree. Green leaves that turn red And yellow and orange It's tall and wide with brownish bark The wood is very hard We can make things, can with, make it. things with it Some water and some sun The tree grows tall for everyone Dear moose and some squirrels Eat leaves, nuts, twigs, and buds From the sugar maple tree Sugar maple tree Sap comes down, fill the bucket up To make delicious maple syrup you're the sugar maple tree You're the sugar maple tree for me You're the sugar maple tree The sugar maple tree Okay, so I think that song said a lot of details about the sugar maple tree. What do you think? I think so, Mr. Elsie. I learn a lot. Okay, so maybe we could come up with another episode another time and give tree tales yes, about another tree. tree tales, tree tales. Okay, so we will come back later with that. But for now, thank you for tuning in to episode one of Tree Tales. Gracias. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to hear more amazing tree tales next time. Until then, we'll see you later. Adios. Adios.